All verse rise on my soul family. Peace to the God stars and goddesses. Soul family, be very aware of these demon reptilians going so far of having a tactic to shape shift into a doppelganger to look exactly like you just to ruin your life just to like set you up for failure try to like get you into legal trouble and try to kill you off right because look i watched a family guy episode of uh meg meg griffin meg griffin she met a doppelganger that looks like her and meg griffin was all friendly with her doppelganger saying like oh you look just like me we both look alike and then the the demon reptilian doppelganger of meg griffin had let meg griffin know that she was about to be killed off and, and guess what meg griffin she got killed off on the episode and that doppelganger of meg griffin she took meg griffin's beanie cop and pretend to be and she pretended to be meg griffin's family right so like a lot of you spiritual humans and soulful vibrational humanoid extraterrestrials out there when you when you see a doppelganger do not interact with them act like they don't exist if you do see them because it's a bad omen to interact with individuals that look exactly like you because look the only the only individuals that, that can look exactly like you is like quadruplets triplets and twins at birth if it's nothing like that, I would not interact with them. These doppelgangers are sick, man. These reptilians, they are so sick. They will they will do anything to destroy spiritual humans and spiritual human or extraterrestrials. That they will try to shape shift to look like that spiritual human or look like that soulful vibrational human or extraterrestrial that these demon reptilians be hating on so much. So they these demon reptilians, they know how to they know how to look exactly like the particular spiritual humans and spiritual human or extraterrestrials and spiritual archangels that they want to get rid of so so heavy because these demon reptilians when they are on this doppelganger when they when they're on a doppelganger mission it's because they got they got money they got money on a lot of spiritual beings that they trying to take out so that's the reason why a lot of these reptilian demons and, and Nephilims and Daros and Draconians, especially the gray aliens, they will literally, they, they, they literally will shape shift to look like that spiritual human or that spiritual human or extraterrestrial that, that they are, that they are a hater of and they'll shape shift into them in a doppelganger form and try to find ways to get rid of that spiritual individual because this this is a war of humans and humanoid extraterrestrials versus these demons right so i'm gonna tell you all right now i'm a humanoid extraterrestrial like i could i could like literally work out longer than what humans can actually do so like these demons so if i if i were to see a doppelganger of me where there's like six doppelgangers or 20 doppelgangers out there that look like me i'm not even going to interact with them like shit i forbid that i meet any of my doppelgangers because <laughs> ain't no doppelganger about to pose as me and go gonna have me killed off and then try to like make my name look bad but just because they these reptilian demons want to shape shift to look like me and then and be a doppelganger and try to ruin ruin my legacy and try to ruin what I'm creating. Like I'm not letting that happen. So that's that's the deepest parts of this doppelganger stuff, so family. And another thing too about doppelgangers. I'ma tell you this. Now, if you for for you spiritual individuals that for you spiritual individuals that once knew individuals that were were like cool with you they used to hang out with you a lot and all that and then all of a sudden like the people that used to hang with you a lot they used to like you man like no longer they don't hang with you all the time and stuff like that i'm gonna tell you right now those individuals that stop hanging with you it's because a doppelganger killed off that original person you once knew I'm telling you this right now, man. This doppelganger stuff is a real thing, man. This this stuff is no joke. 
These doppelgangers, man, these demon reptilians, they do anything to get rid of humans and humanoid extraterrestrials, man. These demons, man, they don't like humans and they don't like humanoid extraterrestrials. That stuff, man, bro, this stuff is deep, man. Because, like, let me tell you something. Like, like there's individuals, there's individuals I went to school with, you know, like, they, they used to hang with me and all that, man, but, you know... Ever since, like, you know, they got killed off by a doppelganger, you know, they became mad different. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not sure if the people I once knew that got they got replaced by a doppelganger or like uh, like kit. They're like held hostage in a cave somewhere or they are like they're like completely killed off. Like these doppelgangers are sick, man. I just know this. I just know this, man, like, I will never be captured and killed by a doppelganger. That's not going to happen with me. I just know that. So it's like, you know, for a lot of you individuals out there, if you wonder why the, the individuals that you were once cool with, that used to like you, where there might be a fiance or a, a local neighbor or a classmate or a sister or anyone, right? Don't. Anybody that used to be cool with you and they're no longer cool with you, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not the original person that just wake up one day and just choose to stop liking you because that's not normal. Individuals not going to wake up one day, five years later, be like, oh, I don't like this person no more. Like, that doesn't work like that. People like you on the first day they saw you or they just never liked you at all. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Any individual... That you spiritual individuals have have met that used to hang out with you all the time and they used to like you. They used to talk to you all the time and they no longer talk to you like that. They got replaced by a doppelganger. They got replaced by a doppelganger, yo. So don't even take it personal when, you know, the individuals that used to be cool with you, they're not cool with you no more, man. That's a doppelganger replacing the original friend or the original fiance or, or sister that you once knew like these doppelgangers are sick man like you know because i know a lot of doppelgangers they replaced a lot of people that i once knew a lot of people that used to be cool with me man they got replaced by a doppelganger man so like these doppelgangers man these reptilian demons they have the technology they have the ability to shape shift to look like the people that you are cool with and they will kill off the people they will kill off the original people that you are friends with or family with or or you or you're like a fiance to and like try to like ruin everything that you built like these demon reptilians are sick with this doppelganger technology ability that they have because the reason why reptilian demons the reason why they do this doppelganger effects it's because they want to destroy humans and they want to they want to kill off the humans and the humanoid extraterrestrial species in this multiverse that's why they do it yo that's all i'm gonna say all verse arise in my soul family peace to the god stars and goddesses soul family i learned when individuals who used to be cool with you for years such as like, you know, relatives or fiancés or anyone, but then years later, they don't vibe with you anymore. It's due to the original people you once knew got killed off by a demon doppelganger. So Meg Griffin from Family Guy, she met her doppelganger and was killed by her doppelganger. And the Griffin family notices differences in Meg, but they didn't know she was a doppelganger who killed off their family member. So when someone who used to talk to me don't talk to me anymore, I don't take it personal. I realize the original version of them got killed off by demon reptilians disguised in shape-shifting form as a doppelganger version of the people that used to like me. So, and for ourselves, soul family, we never should meet or interact with doppelgangers because those doppelganger twins of us are demon reptilian monitoring spirits are out to frame us soulful humans for crimes to get us in legal trouble and kill us soulful spiritual people off. 
Like this stuff, doppelgangers is a serious thing, Soul Family. Like, look, let me show you a picture of Meg Griffin. So Meg Griffin, on this episode of Family Guy, she met her doppelganger, right? They both look identical. See, the whole thing about these doppelgangers, they, they know how to... They know how to mimic the way that the original individual speaks, their 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 mannerisms, their behavior patterns, and and they know how to mimic like everything that they do. But it's only it, but it's only gonna be for a temporary time until like these these reptilian demons who shapeshift into a doppelganger form of these spiritual soul beings that they are trying to that they're trying to like look like in doppelganger form to try to kill off these spiritual beings so they can like you know ruin the spiritual beings names like look man i tell you this like soul family like i always manifest every day i manifest every day that i do not meet my doppelganger in person because if i even if i was to see a doppelganger that looks like me i'm not going to interact with them if anything, I'm gonna ask for a lot of spiritual protection to 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 keep those reptilian demons who try to shape shift to look like me to stay away from me because like you know I'm protected with with unk life. I'm protected with unk life soul family. So like look, these these doppelgangers like you know that Meg the Griff Meg Griffin had experience in the show of Family Guy and she got killed. Like, that's the whole point of these demons, man. These demons are so deceitful, yo. Like, these demons, slave owners, they'll do anything to destroy a, a lot of these spiritual humans and spiritual humanoid extraterrestrials and spiritual archangels to the point that these demon reptilians, they will shapeshift to look like that spiritual individual just to destroy them, man. And look. That's exactly what this doppelganger, this is what this reptilian doppelganger did when she saw Meg Griffin. Like, so, like, these demon reptilians, they wanted, they wanted Meg Griffin, like, out of existence. They wanted her gone. It got to the point, these reptilians, they, they shapeshift to look like Meg Griffin, and they killed her. On that episode, as soon as Meg Griffin interacted with her doppelganger, so this is a sign that we, if you see somebody that looks exactly like you from the eyes to to everything that looks as exactly like you in the mirror, like do not interact with them, man. Because look, a lot of us individuals, we don't even look like our fathers or our mothers, man. So like if you see an individual that is a doppelganger, stay away from them, man. That That's a reptilian demon monitoring spirit trying to like, you know, set you up for the kill.